Let's talk about some of these prop bets. Uh, do you, before we get into it, do you have any off the top of your head that uh, that you have really liked thus far, or uh, or should we just go through some of the bigger ones? Well, no. So so the two that I like and the two that that I'm I'm gonna play definitely is last play of the game quarterback kneel down. Yes, is minus two thirty. No, is plus one sixty five. I will take the no on that. Um, and then I will take, uh, will there be a scoreless, uh, quarter any point in the game? Yes. It's plus 275. That's wild to me. Um, no is minus 450. I love the yes. I love the yes because I think it's going to be a lower scoring game, which means we're not getting points all four quarters. I just think, I just think we're going to have a, 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 Span of fifteen minutes where where everybody scores. I yeah, I could see that. I could I could totally well, see. It's that. the it's the two seventy five that draws me to that. By the way. Oh yeah. Oh one hundred percent. Hundred percent. Looking at some of these uh, main props here, um, I, I I honestly don't have a ton that that I am really into. Uh, the first offensive play of the game: a run is minus one fifty, a pass is plus one twenty. Both of these teams like to play ahead of the chains. I I think I might be willing to go with a pass at plus one twenty uh, because you like to get ahead of the sticks a little bit, right? Like I, would would that see? I mean, it, it just seems like those odds are off to me. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't have any opinions on 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 that one. That's why it's not one of my bets. So, uh, race to twenty points. Uh, for neither team is plus 750. Uh, race to 25 points for neither team is plus 200. You, uh, yeah, you- see, those would be those would be two that I would I would strongly consider as well. And the seven the, the the 20 point one, like I said, that's a that's a probable thing, but it's not a it's a possible thing. It's not maybe not a probable thing, but that's why you get plus 700. That's why you can seven to one on. Yeah, yeah, plus 750 is is bananas. Uh, for the Bengals to get to 20 points before the Rams, uh, it would be plus 190. And I could definitely see that happening. I could definitely see that happening. Uh, looking at some of these other ones, uh, the team to win the coin toss. Uh, you know, who cares? What a, will the coin toss caller be correct? Uh, there is one that is uh, minus 105 right now. That is... Uh, so it's the coin toss winner wins the game or the coin toss winner loses the game. And I don't know if you've seen this, but the last seven Super Bowls in a row, the team that won the coin toss lost the game. So it, it's lost minus 105 on both sides. Yeah, I think it has nothing to do with the outcome of the game, and that is just one of those random things where sometimes the roulette wheel lands on black seven times in a row. Oh, it's all novelty stuff, my friend. Novelty stuff. It, it does. It does not know that... <laughs> So I try. I did hear an analyst try to break this down. Their argument was almost everybody, and and here's the problem: they didn't go back and research this. But almost everybody defers if they win the coin toss because that's where you've got the advantage. Yeah. And all of those people basically possibly got off to a slow start. But I don't. I don't think that has anything to do with it because if you look at the the one that comes to my mind is the the Patriots. Rams game where nobody got off to a hot start. Nobody got off to a slow start. Like, you know, it was just a slow, uh, low scoring game. Uh, the other team that lost the coin toss didn't, you know, didn't get out with points early. Yeah. No, you're so right. I just don't think, I don't think they have anything to do with one another. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, so uh, there's a ton on the entertainment aspect of it. Uh, Super Bowl halftime show, which song will Eminem perform first? So there's Lose Yourself, My Name Is, uh, The Real Slim Shady, and then uh, Without Me and Stan. All of them are plus 200 or better, which means at this point uh, there's value on any of them, but uh, I don't know how anybody would know what it is because it seems that there is no favorite, which means that nobody out there has uh has seen exactly what he's going to do, or at least hasn't made it known publicly. Um, I mean they've got all kind of stuff on this. Will any part of Eminem's performance be censored? Uh, yes, is minus one seventy five. You think they're going to be censoring stuff in the halftime show? 
Uh, I don't know the answer to that, and and I'm curious. Hey, I didn't look at any of the novelty props because I usually just don't care. I, you know, I enjoy oh, yeah. this game, but but I don't care about betting on those things. Um, why are they all M and M? So, like, uh, are they not any Snoop Dogg stuff? Are they not any Dre stuff? No, there's there's nothing for Dre, nothing for Snoop. Well, so, Doctor Dre is the lead guy. Yeah, but it's I, like I, it's his Super Bowl. Agreed. These other guys are his guests. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we doing so many novelty bets about his guest and not about the head guy? I I think I you know what I have no idea. I have no idea. These are all over at betus.com by the way. Uh I think Eminem is is a bigger name. Uh, just overall There's nationally. There's zero chance Eminem is a bigger name than Snoop. Okay. Mm. And he he might be today a bigger name than Dr. Dre, but throughout the pantheon of the people that are going to watch this thing, which are all our age guys, there's no chance. There's no chance he's a bigger name than ours. So yes, for kids, he's a bigger name. But and I and I use the word kids as eighteen year olds, twenty year olds. Um, the odds are, by no the way, way that uh, there's that, no way guys that are thirty five to, to fifty five that the Eminem's a bigger name than Dr. Dre. I I, I might tend to agree with you. Uh, the odds are. Uh, according to BetUS and and several other books out there, but obviously we're a, a BetUS sponsored podcast. Uh, Eminem is favored to be the last artist to come out. So typically, well, that, that makes is, sense. He's the last guy, but that's, so, he's the last guy because he's the least important of the first two. And so it's the the first one is Mary J. Blige, then Kendrick Lamar, Snoop, Dr. Dre, and then Eminem. Is it? Well, that's what the odds are right now. Of course, uh, who who knows what's no, actually going to happen? But that, oh, all right, that, but that's not. It's Dr. Dre Super Bowl. Dr. Dre is going to start, and Dr. Dre is going to finish, and he's never going to leave the stage. I I kind of think the same thing as you. I think the same thing as you. Hey, are you excited like, about this? Lot, by the way, a lot of them, a lot of them. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm interested to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm super interested to see it. That's I am too. Hey, go go ahead with what you were talking about. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like we've seen these Super Bowls where you have multiple you know, performers coming out, but there's one headliner and the headliners on the stage from start to finish. And everybody else just comes in and, you know, does a duet with them. Like they, they carry off of them. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, if they think this is going to be equal billing, I think they're mistaken. I think they're greatly mistaken. Yeah. I think, uh, I think you're probably right. I, I mean, I, right. look, I, bet I can be wrong on all this stuff. All right. But, <laughs> We have been wrong before, and we will be wrong again, my friend. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.